Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some delicious apple fritters. Now, if you love donuts and you love cinnamon rolls, then you're going to love these apple fritters. And I'm going to make them with ingredients that you probably already have at home. This is a very simple recipe. And today I'm going to show you how to make them step by step. Let's get started. Now I'm going to start out by cooking my apples. I've got two apples here and I have cut them up into small cubes. See, and these are honey crisp apples. I love these apples because they're a little tart, but sweet at the same time. But you can use any type of apple that you like. I put in a fourth of a cup of lemon juice in here and I'm giving them a little stir like this every minute or so, so they don't get brown on me. I'm going to be using two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon and a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, the reason I want to cook these apples is because the fritters come out quickly. They fry quickly. And if you put the apples in raw like this, you bite into the apple fritter and the apple is still real crisp and raw. And I don't like that. I want it to be kind of like an apple pie. So now that you know that, let's take these to the stove. So I'm going to be using this skillet right here. And I've got my heat set on a little bit lower than medium. I'm going to add my butter and I'm going to wait until it melts. So now that my butter has melted, I'm going to add my apples. I'm going to add my sugar. My cinnamon. And my vanilla. And I'm going to toss these around and I'm going to let them cook for about eight minutes. And we're going to wait until all this liquid has evaporated. These apples will be slightly crisp and a little soft, which is perfect for an apple fritter. See, and I'm going to continue moving them around like this. Now it's been exactly eight minutes and they're starting to sizzle. See, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to remove them. See, and here they are. Now I'm just going to spread them around like this and I'm going to wait until they're totally cool before we go off to our next step. So I'm going to start out with my flour. I have one and two thirds cup of all purpose flour, one fourth cup of white granulated sugar, three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, three fourths of a teaspoon of cinnamon, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a pinch of nutmeg, just enough for you to grab with two fingers. See, just like that. And I'm going to bring them in together really well. See, and that's good. Now I'm going to get my wet ingredients together in this bowl. I've got half a cup of milk, and I'm going to put in two eggs. So I'm just going to beat them lightly like this. I'm going to put them in here. I have two teaspoons of vanilla. And I'm going to mix these in together really good like this. Now I'm going to add this into my dry ingredients. And I'm also going to add all my apples. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of melted butter, but it's nice and cool. And I'm going to bring this together really well like this. This is going to be our batter. Now I don't like the batter to be very runny. I like it just right and I'll show it to you. See, this is the way we want it to be. Look at the texture. And this is perfect. So now that we have this ready, we can go to the stove. I'm going to be using this skillet right here. And I've got two cups of canola oil in here. I've got my heat set on about medium. And I've checked my oil with my thermometer right here. 
and it's about 360 degrees. But once I put my batter in there, it'll come down to 350, which is where I want it to be. So I'm going to add my batter in here. Now everybody makes their apple fritters differently, different shapes. The apple fritters that I always had growing up look kind of like a small little shoe. See, they're not totally round. Just like this. And I'm gonna do about two or three at one time. It may take about a minute or a minute and a half. Now I'm gonna flip it over. See? I'm gonna flip this one over too. I'll wait a little bit on that one since it was the last one I put in. And I'll give this side another minute and a half. Now I'm gonna take it out. See? And I've got a rack right here that I have lined with paper towels. And that's where I'm going to set it, right there. And here's the third one. Now I'm going to do three more. And I'll give these one minute and a half like that. So here they are. And they're perfect. I was able to make ten. Now before we glaze them, you want to make sure that they are totally cool. So I let them set out for a while and now they're totally cool. I'm going to set them aside and I'm going to get started on my glaze. So I've got two cups of powdered sugar and I have half a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to add my vanilla in here and I'm going to start adding my milk slowly, a little bit at a time. I have a fourth of a cup. Now I'm not going to use the whole fourth of a cup but you can use up to a fourth of a cup. So I'm going to add a little bit at a time, slowly like this. See? Now it looks like this is not enough milk for the powdered sugar, but it goes a long way. And it'll be just perfect. And I won't even use it all up. Now you're going to see that as I continue to stir it, it's going to start to come in together and you'll say, wow, that milk went a long way. See, look at the texture. This is the way I like it. But if you want it just a little bit runnier, you can add a pinch of milk a little bit at a time until it looks exactly the way you like it. So I'm going to move all this out of the way and I'm going to glaze my apple fritters. I'm going to get this brush and I'm just going to start glazing them on top like this. See? Just brushing them. Now if you want to, you can just dip them into your glaze. I like to be able to see a little bit of the fritter. Look at this. I think I've glazed them all really nice. Look at this. See? Mm. Now it's time for the taste test. I'm going to get one of these bakery tissues and I'm going to pick one up just like they do at the bakery. See? Now it's time for the taste test. Mmm. Look at this. Oh man. If I close my eyes, these are the apple fritters from the bakery when I was a little girl growing up. Super, super delicious. Oh my gosh. And they're crunchy from the outside and they're real soft from the inside. And the apple has the perfect texture. So these are my apple fritters. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.